Hello everyone, Mr. Merkich here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Skype tool, well a more in-depth Skype tool than the ones that are probably already out there on YouTube. Um, that's the reason I'm doing this because I know there's a lot but I want to uh, actually show people how to go more in-depth with it. Um, so yeah, let's get started with this really. Uh, if you notice the difference with my mic, it's because I've got a new one and I'm hoping the quality is a lot better but... Uh, we'll have to see as this is the first time I'm using it really. Uh, so we're just going to make a new project. Uh, we can call this um, YouTube Skype tool or something. Uh, we are using Visual Basic by the way. Uh, so yeah, let's get started with this. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to focus too much on design really. Uh, you can do that, I'll, let, I'll leave that down to you. Um, but I will add in a few things first off to make it look a bit better I suppose so what I'm going to be using first is a tab control and if I put that at the top uh, oh didn't mean to click that uh, if I just drag that down if I leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom of the page because I want to stick in some uh, labels so if we put a label down on the left uh, copy that, put that down on the bottom right, and copy that again. So we have three labels. Put that down here. If we name label three to disconnected, uh, because by default when we start the program, uh, we're going to be disconnected. If we put label two to status, just obviously the status of the tool. We're disconnected. Uh, so let's just leave that there uh, and label one what we're going to rename this is to welcome and for now if we just leave this as unknown because uh, when the user joins um, we don't know what the user is so unknown and one last thing tab one I just want to rename this to home page uh, forget about tab two for now that'll be futures obviously we'll have a few tabs but just want home page for now alt and we need a button uh, we'll just make this a bit bigger and call the button connect uh, to skype um, before we get into the code of the tool or we can't code if we don't do this step so what we need to do is we need to go to project and add a reference so what we need to do is add in Skype the Skype API into our tool so we can actually interact with Skype uh, so you want to come to com and scroll down until you find the Skype uh, Skype library uh, here it is Skype for com 1.0 we want to tick that box and press OK uh, also you want to come into your toolbox uh, if I just minimize this one as you can see I have Skype class here because I've did this before but if you don't have Skype class already here you just want to right click in this empty space and choose items and again come to com components at the top and you want to scroll down until you find Skype class as you can see I've got it ticked uh, that's why it's there if you don't have it ticked just tick that and press OK uh, so once you've done that you want to get the Skype class and drag it into uh, your tool um, this we're not using this at all it just has to be in here for it to work so if you want to get rid of this uh, white box I don't really like the white box so if you come down to the size uh, and I'm just going to minimize that to zero so we, it's not visible it can stay there it's fine it's not going to be touched if I click away you can't see anything there so that's that uh, so now we can actually get into connecting to Skype itself and so we just want to double click there uh, and for this we're just going to we want to use a try and if we want to actually do something with Skype we'd have to use uh, a AX Skype one 
I've got something, but if you don't really or don't think you will remember AX Skype 1 very well, you can come up to the top just before anything and type dim and then the name of whatever you want to call, like for each time you want to do something with Skype, I'll just call it Skype uh, as new Skype for com lib dots Skype. So now instead of using AX Skype 1, I could literally use Skype dot oops one second I could literally use Skype dot and then like that uh, we can do it this way but because seeing as I've done it I'll just keep it this way we just want to do Skype dot attach and that should attach us to Skype really so we want to try to attach and if we do attach successfully we want to display a message box and we want the message box to show successfully just like that and also because we're connected we want to change uh, the disconnected and the unknown so how we do this uh, we will just want to uh, check what labels this is actually disconnected is label 3 and this one is label 1 so uh, if we just put label 3 dot text and that is going to be equals to a new string and the string is going to be connected also label one dot text and we're going to put that as we want to keep the welcome there and leave a space um, so what we do after this um, is not here instead of here so if you come to the other side of the speech mark now and press plus and we can use skype dot uh, current user profile dot full name uh, so what that will do oh, see welcome plus, uh, welcome and the skype name which is currently connected mine is mr Merkage, as you can see so it should say welcome mr Merkage. so that's that for the connection if we don't connect uh, if we want to display a message again message box dot show uh, we want this time to show unable to connect and obviously we want to set the labels back to their default so this one was this connected and label whoops I didn't put in any speech marks which should be fine and we also want to put label one dot text uh, we want to put that back to welcome unknown so that should be that um, if you want to display some more advanced message boxes you could come the other side of the message uh, put a comma uh, and in this speech or this part you'll put the title of the message box so we should put connected and we can also do message box buttons dot ok so we just want the ok button because we're not that's all we really want to do get rid of the box and we can change the message box icon also uh, we could just put that as information uh, same with this one if we put this to uh, if we're unable to connect we should just have error uh, message box buttons we can just leave that as ok and the icon we can have error there we go so that should be that so let's give this a go De debug this uh, as you can see don't know who we are we're not we're disconnected if I press connect successfully connected ok as you can see, it's recognised me as Mr. Merkage and the status is now connected. So if we go to Skype, um, yeah, it appears you're using YouTube Skype tool with Skype. Um, so yeah, that's working. You can also disconnect from Skype and all sorts, like switch it off. But we'll do that in further tutorials. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to show for today. Um, 
you did like the video please be sure to like and comment and uh, i'll see you next time